Today starts our journey in biology, and we are on chapter one. You most likely read the sections for today, section one and two. Um, so today we're going to start with section one, which basically answers the question, what is biology? So that's what we're going to do inside this section. First, we're going to talk about what is biology. Second thing we're going to do is what is an organism. Um, then the five characteristics of living things. Those are what we're going to talk about. Question? Oh, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. All right, so what is biology? We're answering that question. What is it? The study of life. All right, it comes from two Greek words, bios, which means life, and logos, which means study. You put them together, and you get the study of life, biology. Okay, anytime you hear anything ology or logy or anything of that sort, most likely it refers to studying something. All right, what do biologists study? Number one, they study the interactions of life. No living thing exists in isolation. It interacts with other living things. Not only does it interact with other living things, but it also interacts with what? Non-living things, okay? It interacts also with the environment, okay? The stuff around us, our surroundings, whether it's uh, other living things or non-living things. We interact with stuff around us, and in biology, we're studying not just the living things, but how they interact with the environment. And they study problems and propose solutions, okay? We have medicines, for example medical treatment. We need to do research so that we can find out more about different diseases so that we can uh, provide solutions to the problems that we're facing. Make sense? All right. I'd like when you guys interact with me. So it makes sense? Yes. Yeah. All right. Good. That's the way to do it. Then you make me feel better because, like I did I tell you before, I don't like to feel like I'm talking to myself. It makes me feel like I'm going crazy, even though I know I'm crazy. But, you know, this is for me. This is for me. You helping me out by answering my questions. You guys with me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I like it. So let's move on. What is an organism? You read. What is it? Living things. Okay. An organism. All living things are organism. You can fill organisms. You can fill that in in the blanks there. You should have enough space to fill in the red words and to add in any additional comments that you think are necessary for studying for the test. So over here, is that an organism, the apple? Yes. Okay, what's that in the middle? Yeah. Elephant. Organism, yes, no? Yeah. Okay, what's that? <laughs> that. That is the girl, right? All right, is she an, an organism? Yeah. Yes, she is an organism. All living things are organism. We look at this beautiful scene here. We see that there's a family that's walking, picture perfect in the, in the forest or in the park, sorry. And um, what are the living things that we have here? Tell me. Trees, Trees. Yeah. grass, bushes, bushes. Yeah. people. Yeah, we have people. Are there other living things around? Earthworms. Earthworms. Okay, so we have stuff maybe that we can't see. Any other things we might not be able to see here? Bugs. How many people love bugs? Why is nobody raising their hands? Nobody? Okay. You love squishing bugs. All right. There are germs and all kinds of stuff we can find in here. And all those things would be organisms. Perfect. All right. Now, so we have living things, and you guys wrote down some of the characteristics of living things at the beginning. So we're going to talk about what the five characteristics of living things are. And you guys are going to help me out with this. Number one is organization. What's number one? Organization. All right, sweet. Number two would be reproduction. What's number two? Reproduction. Number three is growth and development. What? No, you have to wait for me to ask. That makes me feel as if, you know, I'm the teacher. All right, so number three is growth and development. What's number three? Growth and development. All right, you guys are perfect. Number four, the ability to adjust to environment. What's number four? The ability to adjust to environment. Okay, so now that can sound kind of messy when we sing it. So all we're going to do is just say adjust to environment. What are we going to say? Adjust to environment. And then number four is living things adapt and evolve. And we're just going to say adapt and evolve. What's number five? Adapt and evolve. All right, sweet. So number one is? Number two, three, four, 
Okay, so what are we going to say for four? Adjust to environment. environment. And number five? Adapt and evolve. Adapt and evolve. Okay, what, this is the goal right now. This is the goal right now. The goal right now is by the end of this class, you guys don't even need to study these five things because you know it so well. All right? So number one. Organization. Then. Reproduction. Three. Four. Five. Okay, we're going to do that one more time. We're going to move on, and then we're going to come back to it, because by the end of today, you will never have to study this again. It'll be so ingrained in you. You're going to go to sleep tonight. You're going to be sleeping, and you're going to wake up. Oh, organization. <laughs> Reproduction. I can see it. That's how it's going to happen. If, anybody, if that happens to anybody, just let me know. It'll make me feel very good about myself. All right, number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, sweet. Before we move on then, without looking at your paper, I see you guys oh. trying to look. Don't try to look. Without looking at anything but me, just focus all your attention on Mr. Samuel. Make him feel really good now. Okay, some of you aren't looking at me yet. <laughs> look at me. Look. <laughs> look at me. All right, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. I saw you peeking five. Okay, because he peeked, we got to do it again. No peeking. No peeking. Number one. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right, so you guys know how to identify living things and non-living things. Go. Most people feel confident that they could identify a living thing from a non-living thing, but sometimes it's not so easy. When identifying life, you might ask, does it move? Does it grow? Does it reproduce? These are all excellent questions, but consider a flame. A flame can move, it can grow, and it can produce more flames. So, are flames alive? Are flames alive? How do you know it's not alive? Okay. Oh, so what you're saying is it has some of the characteristics, but not all of the characteristics. Okay, it does use oxygen, yeah, but does it have all of the characteristic? Does it adapt to the environment? In some ways, yeah, it doesn't evolve. It starts as a flame and it ends as a flame. It might be a bigger flame. Um, but it does not have all the characteristics. Is it organized? No, right? You start a fire, that junk is going to go anywhere it can, right? It's not thinking, well, let me see if I can do this fire in a very structured way or anything of that sort. No. If it's flammable, it's going to burn. Question. Yes, you may sharpen your pencil right over there. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, so let's talk about these things. Are these guys organisms? Yes. Yes? Are you sure? Okay. And? No, right? We know that that's not an organism. Sweet. Now, as we go through this lecture, we're going to be asking ourselves the question, is Mr. Samuel an organism? And we're going to go through... <laughs> hey! We're going to go through the characteristics and see whether Mr. Samuel is an organism or not. And we're going to come to a conclusion at the end. Hopefully it's a good conclusion because I'm kind of rooting that I'm, a, I'm an organism, but we'll see. Of course. All right, so let's continue. First one, organization. What in the world do I mean by that? Number one, all living things are composed of mon one or more what? Cells. All living things are composed of one or more cells. If it's alive, it has cells. Not only that, each cell, somebody said this, each cell contains DNA. Very important. Anybody know what DNA stands for? Go. Oh, sorry. Uh, the, yes, say it. Deoxyribonucleic acid. And we're going to talk about that in chapter... We're going to talk about that in one of the chapters, chapter 7 or something of that sort. 6, 6, yes, chapter 6, when we talk about cells, we're going to talk about DNA and we're going to move on. 
<laughs> yeah, he wrote the book. He knows everything. Wow, you said six. Wow, that's good stuff. I like that. No, it really is six, though. No, it is. I, I, I'm not saying that. You're, you're just that good. You just know the book by heart. He did that. He wrote the book. I'm sorry. Guys, this is Mr. McGraw-Hill. McGraw-Hill, no. This is Mr. Mr. Biggs, Greg, Biggs. Higgins. Mr. Biggs. We're going to call him Mr. Biggs from now on. He wrote the book right here on biology, the dynamics of life. All right, let's continue. So all living things are composed of one or more cells. cells. Each cell contains yeah. DNA and all parts, this is very important, all parts function together in an orderly living system. Sweet. So we know that the flame was not a living thing because we know that it's not orderly. It's not composed of cells. It does not have DNA. It's, it's not alive. It's that simple. If you have all four characteristics, but you don't have one, you are not alive. Let's continue. All right, so this is Mr. Samuel. Back in his cool, that is me, back in his cool days. This is when he used to, you know, look cool, wear shades that kind of look cool. Anyhow, so let's say next class period you come to class and Mr. Samuel comes into class, but he does not look like this. Mr. Samuel looks like this. What do you have? <laughs> That's the sweetest dance move ever. Wow, I wish I could do that. <laughs> uh -oh. That would kind of hurt, all right? <laughs> Obviously, there's organization to Mr. Samuel, all right? So far, is Mr. Samuel an organism? No. Hey. <laughs> so far, based on that one thing, can he be an organism? No. <laughs> all right, at least some of you are saying yes. So let's continue. What was the next one after organization? Reproduction. Come on, guys. You're supposed to be better than that. What's the next one after organization? Reproduction, so let's go there. Uh, reproduction, what is reproduction? Well, reproduction is the production of offspring. Okay, your parents had you, that is reproduction. All right, the production of offspring. Um, and when we say that two organisms are of the same species, we mean two things. Number one, they can interbreed. Number two, they produce fertile offspring, according to Mr. Biggs over here. They produce fertile offspring. So if they are of the same species, we know that they can interbreed, and we know that they produce fertile offspring. All right, so we're still asking the question, is Mr. Samuel an organism? Here we have Mr. Samuel, um, and then we have the very beautiful Mrs. Samuel, the better half of the two. Um, uh, well, so on May 10, of 2006, we got together and we said, you know what, I like you, you like me, let's make this official, blah, 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 and we got married. And you can see us walking out of the chapel there. And if you, no if you notice here, this is my hand, and I'm like, yes, finally, she married me. Either that or I, I, I tricked her into it, one of the two. All right, so we got married, and then I, we can't prove this yet. But, I mean, when we uh, have, like, kids, and like more kids and like more and more kids and, and a few more kids. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm going, I keep telling my wife I want a maximum of two kids. And she keeps saying she wants two to four. That's a lot. I'm, I, anyhow, but in a few years, not right now. Um, so we can't prove based on this that Mr. Samuel is an organism as yet. But hopefully, you know. <laughs> Hopefully everything works together right, and um, uh, we can have some kids, reproduce, get some offspring. <laughs> Hopefully not as many as it says on the screen. 